Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and we are in central Indiana. Very pretty out here. Very quiet. Well, except for the four-wheeler. So I'm here because I got a call from a viewer. And uh, I normally don't, you know, I travel around, but I've never actually visited a viewer before. And I'm anxious to hear from, his name is Mark. His father had a dealership and his grandfather had a dealership. So we are probably going back to the 40s, Mark, huh? I would. Was your grandfather? With grandfather. So his grandfather had a Triumph and BSA dealership, and I guess your dad was Triumph and Montessa, maybe. Ducati, Triumph, Norton. Oh, wow. Uh, so that would have been like BSA. in the 70s, because you and I are the same age. Right, right. Yeah, all right, so that's dad why we're here. Asked, he opened up the shop after he got back from the Korean War and actually went to the Triumph School. And I think that was located over there in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, it was in Baltimore? Yeah, there was a training course he went oh, to. Oh, the course. Yeah. What was the name of your dad's shop? It was, uh, one was, I see some t-shirts is Roy's and some is uh, Stillwell and Son. Roy's and Stillwell yeah, and Son. I still and got an old t-shirt. Oh, do you have one we can see? A t-shirt? Sometimes I have them reproduced. You know, what, so rag down on where was the shop? That was in Huntingburg, Indiana. Oh, it's okay. I don't know if did you come off the interstate? Yeah, yeah, that Huntingburg, and, we went through did, it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And that's where we located. And it's funny, that little town, you know, actually selling Ducatis and stuff like that. I mean, probably when I grew up in the sixties, I'm guessing probably will 3,000, 3,500 people there. Well, Huntingburg. if you were riding in the 60s, you were riding young, because we're the same age. Yeah, yeah, I started out. Were you doing off-road stuff too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started out on that little Ducati 90, just making Oh, like a cadet or, or a woodsman or well, something I like that? A mountaineer. A mountaineer, okay, Actually, I know what that is. I have that bike. It's in rough shape, and there's a Mountaineer 100. I've had a couple of those. I have an engine for one if you need engine parts. Well, those bikes are still complete. They ran, yeah. I seen the 100 was probably ran 10, 15 years ago. Now the 90, it's been a longer time, but they did run for those little Duke guys. What Was there a, a racetrack here that had a name? Well, I think not really around. Now they have the Black Cold. National Enduro. Now that's out here. I don't know which way you're headed. Quicker to. Do they still race there, the Black Hole? Yeah. Oh, I have to check that it out. Down for a while, but uh, they brought it back. Oh, okay. Now he drag raced. Uh huh. Also, I understand he wasn't too well liked, but he knew what he come to remember him having yeah. any numbers. Did he race at the Black Hole? Sometimes, sure. the reason I'm asking, sometimes I find pictures, old race pictures, uh -huh. and at all these tracks, they usually had a local photographer. And if you find out who he is, you might find pictures. Because I have pictures of a lot of the race bikes that I have. It takes me a while, but I eventually find them. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that's why I was wondering. Yeah, I'm not real sure about that. Now I know we have a uh, And yeah, I Shame I don't have, I do have a daughter, but I don't have, you know, shame I don't have a sons or anything like that. But that's What the, model is it? Uh, this well, model a, 100. That's, this would be a first thing. Yeah, right? but I'm looking at the model. I'd have to look up that number. It says B100. Then there's gonna be a number here, but I can't see in the dark. Here's the tank. But no, this is, no, that's a different tank. That, that's not a Persang tank. That's like a no, Matador I'm tank. What, that's another thing I just come across. That's it? like a Matador tank. Yeah, that look, I was going to say, looks more like uh, the best dirt bike I ever had. Oh, there's a, 
Kawasaki tank hiding in the dirt. I've got a few of those KL, well actually that had them out there. Is it there or is it on the other side? It should be on this side. Ooh, it's hard to see. I'll get out of the way. I had to have it, but uh, that's a, it's matching numbers. I would, I would guess it would be. I think they do uh, flat track this thing or something, would be my guess. What the heck is that motor? That's the one I told you. Is that a BSA or Triumph? I don't know. Ooh, big soft spot there. Yeah, oh yeah, Dave, please watch where you're going. I believe that if I ain't mistaken, this I is... I think it's BSA, C15. Now this is something I got from my grandfather and he kept this thing all them years. Yeah, is that a, it's a Montessa. Or I mean Montessa, damn it. And I gotta see where the number is. I don't know. It's probably about like a trying to say something like a good taco. Boy, that's funny. It's history of my testing little taco ain't. Alright, where are you? Oh here it is. I was trying to think here it is. Um can't read it. Seven twenties. Oh that's not it then. Is it on possibly the bottom? I was gonna check the front. I'm not sure. Oh, well, hang on, hang on. The jet car from his jump over. Um, well, that was in that was a snake. Idaho. What? What? That like gorge in Idaho. That was the Snake River. The Snake River. That's from the Snake River. You have to put that in. Don't let that rot out yeah, here. That I, is cool. I found this, and that's why it's up there. I didn't know. You need to keep that someplace I've nice. I've got his little, that 650. And so don't, we don't know what this I is. I don't think. Uh, it's period. It's cool. It's really neat. Yeah. It looks Italian. That's, that's my guess. Well, here's a number. FMP something. I don't know what it is. It's it's the kind of thing you see mounted to a sign. Uh -huh. But it's too nice to do that to. Wonder what that is. And I don't know if that came with a motor or what. That would have been like some sort of like a moped motor or something in that. I, I don't know. Deal. There's enough room for an upright cylinder. It could yeah, have been. Uh, there's yeah, enough room yeah. for whatever. Damn, that's a nice place. Hang on. We're both catching our breath. So we have a Model 100 Persang 125 with what we think is a 200cc top end. That's probably the. 125 cylinder hiding over there. Uh, 370, man, we're getting old. 370 Fonterra motor, a BSA C C15 engine, and an unidentified Montessa motor. I can't believe they had it. I mean, uh... CSC fenders, huh? What were you saying? The from oh, on the Montessa? Well, we'll figure it out. Oh, we're getting old. Anyway, that's it for today.